Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. My very first video I've ever made for this Corel series was how to make a clock face dial, I, I believe. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit different way. I purposely changed my page size to 20 by 20 just to make the math easier in just a minute. And I've got a couple of videos on out there on how to draw this diamond shape. But we want to put it at the 12 o'clock position. So just hit my circle is in the center of the page. So I'm going to hit P as in Paul on the keyboard. And then I'm going to lasso on both. I'm going to hit T like in Tom. And we don't want it right on the edge of the clock. So we're going to cursor down. I've got my, my nudge factor set on a quarter of an inch. So now we're a quarter of an inch below that edge. Now we're going to go get, we're going to go to range and go to transformation and rotation. And sometimes people send me a question. They go, well, nothing's highlighted. Well, you don't have anything checked. Check that. Now, I've already done this. But going back to the 20 by 20, our rotation should be at negative 10 from the center of the page. Because this is 0, 0. But in the Y, it's going downhill as far as Corel is concerned. Now you could have it press 10 if you put your rulers down here for a minute. But it, once you get used to it, it's 10 by 10. It's going to rotate at 30 degrees and it's going to make 12 copies. Bam, it's done. I mean, isn't that impressive? Now, I will always take this clock and I will replace this with 12, 3, 6, and 9. But you want that diamond for a reference. So I would click on him and no, give him an outline and no feel. Well, he's a feel because I, um, so let's change our nudge factor now to like one inch. Let's move the, that out of the way. Let's just get rid of this one because that's a color feel. So it won't take it away. It was a completely different object. But so now you've got a deal and then you would take your text and type the, type 12 out, make it the appropriate size you want. And the diamond is going to help you kind of place it in the center. Because you could click on the diamond. There's the crosshairs on the diamond. You could bring that down and click on the diamond again and bring that over. Play with this a little bit. Then when you get your 12, that's pretty much in the center. It maybe doesn't look like because number two has a little bit offset, longer deal. And then you could, you know, you could look at different fonts and um, see there's a change of the center. So your center of 12 now would be there. That might be a little bit big for that those diamonds. But then you just erase your diamond and do that the same thing for six, three, six, nine, and 12. So that's the rotation transformation docker. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.